Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? Today we're going to learn how to draw rac uh, <coughs> Rocket Raccoon from uh, from Guardians of the Galaxy. So, this is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be basically an animal head. He's got a lot of different looks. I'm going to do a pretty basic raccoon kind of uh, bust here. You know, head, shoulders, I mean, portrait. So, I'm actually going to start with, by the way, I'm using a pencil. I'm going to start with an oval. Kind of going this way. Hopefully you can see that. And then I am going to make him again, just like the others, slightly looking that away. I'm gonna have this have this line right here with the cone where his mouth is gonna be his muzzle area is gonna be bigger than a human's. Hopefully you can see that. Let me see on that camera. Yeah. You don't have to I'm kinda making up uh not not proportions, but uh, what I'm doing is I'm just these lines right here, you don't have to follow them exactly. You can just draw a circle there. I just want to want to kind of place things that his nose is going to pop forward, you know? It's going to be forward. This is called the stop right here. It's kind of like where it where the you know, the top of the uh kind of muzzle area hits hits the head, hits the skull. I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't ask me in the in the in the comments, I'll let you know. <coughs> Trying to get things worked out. How long is his head going to be? Some of them make, especially in the comic, his head looks really wide. But I don't make it as wide as that. Trying to find the general brain, you know, where it where, where his brain, the skull. And then drawing the ears generally on just triangles. Just trying to figure that out. Move it down. Got his little body there. Alright. It's got like a little suit thing going on. I'm not gonna really draw that until the very end, maybe I'll mess with it. So let's see, I'm gonna draw some circles for where his eyes are gonna be. And then the darker portion. That looks silly, but this is just placement things. I'm drawing us this pretty light, pretty light. Okay, this is all my placement. I got his torso, I mean his upper torso. I got his head. I kind of know where the nose is going to be. Maybe where the upper mandible is going to be. <coughs> Alright, now let's get into it. Gonna put down some. I'm gonna go into his eye. I'm actually end up moving the eye closer than I think. Got that angry look. I'm gonna make most of his eye pretty dark. Over here, find the other eye. Trying to see where that shine would be on this side. I'm trying to indicate a shine, even though it looks like his pupil. Design pattern, kind of middle of his head here. Also, remember the fur. It's a good idea to kind of throw a couple more lines in the stuff instead of drawing like a line like 
like that. Like if I would draw, let's say the furrow, I was normal. I would normally draw this. For him, I would draw something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like flick the lines. There's a one overall shape, but there's little lines kind of made flicking off it. But make them tight and don't. They all got to be directional lines. Step back. Step back. Nose. Shading that in except for that portion that tries. I'm trying to make it look like a maybe like some shine going on. Hmm, don't like the read of that, but I gotta let it go. Going after this black shape around his eyeball. Again, I'm trying to go directional, pulling these lines directional. They're all going the same direction. Let me sharpen my pencil here. I'm gonna go up here to the top of the skull. No matter what you're drawing, whether it be human or you know whatever animal, they're always gonna be pretty symmetrical, you know. Usually, for the most part, you know. So I'm trying to, just like when, I'm just like when I draw people, I'm trying to even stuff out. See, that's too high. Compared to that, it wouldn't be like that. Comic, he's got kind of like this Stewie from Family Guy kind of football head. I noticed. I'm trying to bring maybe a little bit of that. I think it's because of that stuff, because of the uh, the hair. His mouth isn't super big. It's not like uh, it would be for a tiger or something. It's more of a small mouth. Looks more like a Dog, Pomeranian. Even though, like I said, he's a he's a raccoon. I do that. I constantly look back. You know. Actually, let's go up to the ears before of anything. Inside of the ear, I'm gonna make his ears a little bit bigger than I put there initially. Let's see if you can see that. Yeah. Make his ears a little bit bigger. I think that might be too big. I'm not sure. He's looking a little more dog like than I would like, so I'm gonna. And this is very weird, but I'm gonna start filling this shape in, the dark shape, to make him look more like a fox and see if that gets it closer. It's just, I know it's just the shading, which is crazy. But I want to see if that makes him look more. I'm like, I'm just like, man, is he just he's reading differently without any value? Value, but when I say value, I mean anything dark, darker light.
Draw his mouth here open. He's got little tiny raccoon teeth. He's gonna add those on. something. He doesn't have much of a neck, honestly. It's not like the other ones where I put the traps and stuff. He doesn't really have much of that. I'm actually going to draw him almost pretty much in regular freaking clothes almost. Second, let me get an eraser. Uh -oh. All right. Because of the value, sometimes you'll under you'll draw, and like to me, it looks really uneven because of the line weight. See, it's really dark right here and right here and right here, and. I want I don't want it to be like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to strengthen the contour line of the entire thing to see if that'll balance it out a little bit and it will kind of uh organize all the craziness a tiny bit here. I just feel like the line work is everywhere in terms of just value. In terms of how dark it is, you know. Because the thing is your eye is gonna jump toward uh, those, you know, the darkest things sometimes, you know, not always, sometimes it's the lightest thing. Usually your eye will jump toward what's the most, where the most contrast is. And when I say contrast, uh, contrast is the difference between light and dark, where the most difference is. And because we're drawing on pretty much a white paper, I think the darkest line will really stand out. I've been really busy. I've had a lot of commissions lately. I feel pretty good. Um, you know, I'm sorry. I'm gonna <laughs> while I'm doing this line thing, I'm gonna take a moment just to talk about what's up with me. Uh, I'm doing a lot of commissions lately. A lot, a lot, a lot. I'm getting a lot of uh, DeviantArt recently. If you haven't added me to Devi DeviantArt, just look up uh, Omega Man 20, and I'm on there. I don't update it that much though, honestly. I m mostly update my Facebook page, which uh, I don't think I link. I don't think I linked anybody to my face, my personal art page on here, but uh, I want to. I'm gonna put a little bit of shadow in the ear, you know, for the obvious reasons it would be in shadow. Also, looks better. I can tell it's just starting to look better with that. I think. Let me look through the camera. Sometimes, if I need an objective point of view, I look through the camera because the camera. I don't know what it is. You just you see it differently. But yeah, I've been doing that. Um, I'm starting a series of uh, of uh, very different tutorials. We're gonna have like a video camera, like camera crew. It's gonna be on fantasy art specifically. I'm still gonna do videos here, you know, a lot. But I'm also gonna do another YouTube channel with uh, fantasy art. And like I said, it's gonna be a little different though. I'm gonna have an editor edit my stuff, and I'm gonna be talking like you, you know, my my it'll be my face the whole time talking. <coughs> You know, with kind of Photoshop effects and stuff like that. It's going to be very fun, you know. So I'm really busy uh, organizing that. And I'll, I'll let you guys know the link at the very end of this. I'll, I'll put a link in the description or I'll put a I'll put an annotation. I'll, I'll point you at which, which annotation to. Because the page is already up. There's just nothing on it, you know. It's just a dead page right now. It's just space. All right. Look at it now. I think it's a little more balanced out. But I still want the focus to be on the darkest, uh, and so that should be the eyes. It's always the eyes for me. When all else fails, I darken up the you know things around the eyes because 
That is the window to the soul, as they say. I have kind of a cold right now as well. <clears throat> I've been trying to get over it for the last week or so. How are you guys doing out there? You guys have any art projects going on? If you guys have any art projects, let me know, and uh, I'll go check it out. Uh, if you guys can post the link if you want. I mean, hopefully it doesn't sense it as spam or anything. But uh, if you guys have any projects, maybe a Kickstarter or something like that going on, I'd love to see it. I'm always looking for new uh, art kind of art activities or art projects to, to look at, you know. Art videos. There's amazing art videos online. But, uh, yeah, let me know, guys. I really would love to see that. All right, right here, messing around with his mouth. So I have to lean back. I think, uh, you know what? I think I'm going to call it done. I like it enough. You know what I mean? Uh, what I did was, like I said, what I ended up doing the whole like last bit here was when these lines were just way too dark, I needed to darken it up everywhere else. I had a choice. I either lighten it up there, you know what I mean? Or I darken it up everywhere. And that's what I chose to do. I darkened it up the line work, just the line work everywhere. And I put a little bit of shading around the eyes to, for uh, just to kind of tell that like, he's a raccoon and he didn't look totally like a dog or a squirrel. Well, he kind of looks like a dog too. <laughs> uh, I remember he also had like this shade. He, had, he also had like a little bit of a shadow pattern right here. Kind of almost like a I don't know what it is. It's just a pattern. And the, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the whiskers. And I'm going to really sharpen my pencil for that. I don't really know how many whiskers he has, so I'm just going to put five. I have no clue how many how many whiskers these animals have. Oh, snap. That is way the hell out there. I drew way out there. Anyways, guys, uh, check out the uh, the new uh, the new project I'm working on. It's called Enzyme Art TV, and I'll put the link either right here somewhere. I don't know. An I'll put an annotation. Go uh, go subscribe to that 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 uh, go subscribe to that YouTube channel. And uh, so when it, uh, when stuff actually goes up, you'll get a notification of that. It's gonna start in late March, so nothing soon. Alright guys, thanks a lot, and uh, I appreciate you guys watching. It's a great honor. Thank you.